All right, so we're going to discuss a few things. I would, um, and I'm going to post this video as soon as it's it's finished on to YouTube so that you folks can review it and have a look at the answers. Remember, none of the answers are guaranteed. There's no guarantees. But we're going to try and make sense of, of all the questions that people have asked. And as I've said to you, you can post questions in the chat box. And I'm thinking, you know, the, this is a rocky life. Most people, you know, when they look at their money in the bank, they uh, wake up tomorrow morning and they look, there's a deduction and then it's minus that amount and then the hundred bucks that was deducted minus the fees, they feel pretty confident and it's like a comfort zone. But when you get involved in some kind of Forex, because this is cryptocurrency is, is Forex, but it's a whole lot more volatile. And the RAND's volatility has been 6% in the last two, three months. So you know, nobody gets a big fright when the RAND drops a half a percent or 1% to the US dollar. But everybody gets a big fright when Bitcoin drops 50% in one day. And I think if you folks went back to all the recordings and all the sessions that we had previously, where I was warning you, even on, on um, Loving Life channel, <laughs> I said, we got the traders to get out of Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies before the actual, the actual prices started falling. So whether you hear it, that's irrelevant whether you do something about it is is relevant because what happens is some of you are listening to 20 other people on youtube you're watching the news and the news is just going with the flow the flow is it's uh, uh, everybody's buying it and and uh, tesla's buying it and we are able to and 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 so we are buying it but you're not looking at the graphs and as an uneducated person in the in the industry, and I, I don't call myself educated, I call myself semi-educated because this business that we're in is changing rapidly and it's changing all the time. I've just decided to make myself specialize in um, seasonal changes and reading the graphs properly. So even if I put a one month graph up for every one of you to see, which I'm going to do just now. It wouldn't make sense to you because you still believe that this is what you need to buy. And you need to buy everything as high as possible because your friends might, you might feel left out and you, you, you just want to buy what everyone else is buying. And that's a, that's a problem with um, phones also. If you think iPhone is everything, you just buy everything. Buy an iPhone, even if it's a cost 20 times more than its real value, even if it only gives you half of the features that same with Samsung and Huawei. Look, look how Huawei got wiped out of the market this year to a certain degree because of regulation and stuff that was discovered about them. And Android, Google is not, not any much better. They are still you know, keeping your information and flogging you with adverts and and selling you to, uh, to other people. So whatever we believe, nothing is based on our belief. Nothing in the real world is based on what we believe. Our belief is only limiting us to thinking further than what's the reality. And the reality has been a wake up call for all of us. So I'm gonna go through some of the questions um, one of the questions that my guy has sent me, and he's, he's a new guy, and he's, he believes in cryptocurrency, and he's, he's doing pretty well. But his friend sent him this question, and I've just translated it into English, so we're keeping this in English for now. So he said the people are going crazy about the Bitcoin price falling and calling it a scam. The same thing happened in 2017, December. 
I was already warning the traders, get out of Bitcoin. And it's like, no, the price is going up. We, we want to make money on it. And a very few, faithful few, it was just like the KBC scam. It, it was there. We told the guys to get out on the 4th of July when everyone thought the 4th of July is the date. We're going to make money. The company, and we got out at 900 and the price is now three Satoshis if you're going to look on your yogurt. That is Greek to most of you. If, you. if you don't know what I'm talking about, just like delete that piece of information. I'm just talking to those who have been in cryptocurrencies for a while that have fallen for all of these cryptocurrency schemes and scams. And one has come and gone and come and gone and come and gone. And so whoever is looking at the markets, don't buy into hype. Don't go into the rah, rah, rah. Um, these, these guys that are jumping up and down, look at the price. Learn to read the graphs. If you read the graphs, the graph says Ethereum is way too high. Ethereum is one month behind, well, between two weeks and one month behind the Bitcoin drop. And, and it's going to fall to $2,000. It's going to drop to below $2,000. So we, if you love Ethereum, tell her, I'm divorcing you for a little while. I'll see you in two weeks' time. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a holiday. Take your money out of him or her, however you treat this relationship. It's like people that have been buying XRP. I very, have very a lot of sympathy for people that buy something that's not really a crypto, and that's my opinion. And, and buying into Ethereum and Bitcoin now, it's, there's a better chance to buy Bitcoin and make money than to buy Ethereum and make, make money. But why would you buy something that's going to make you 1% or 2% per day when you can buy something that's going to make you 5 or 10 or 20% per day? Obviously, volatility is what our traders are, are, are bargaining on. So when somebody tells me the Bitcoin price is falling, is it a scam? It's because they've never had any education. So when we go, we have a crypto school, which we teach people to love the world that they're in, but also never to buy at the current price. So we're going to discuss that just now. To buy at the current price is just ridiculous. Um, always expect the price to fall low. One of my traders, Shahid, he said to me, he, um, he listened to my advice. He placed all, all his orders down to $28,000 and he missed the $28,000, but he's $30,000, $32,000, $34,000 buying back into Bitcoin has paid him off. And you, you can see. All right. So when you call something a scam, it's just because, you know, you've lost money in it. And you've probably come in when the price is too high. And that's what most of the people, the people that normally buy on the peak are the people that are uneducated. It's, I read something in the news. Look, this is going up. Why would a surfer get onto the wave, try and get onto the wave when it's at the peak and think they're going to surf? They're going to have a lack of time. You don't get on the wave at the peak. If you watch surfers in Cape Town, these guys are the most patient people. They look at the waves coming in, and they look at the waves coming in, and now and then they get see this wave that looks like it's good, and they get it in at the bottom where this wave is starting to pick up. So if, you, if you're too late for the wave, don't get on the wave. Don't get on the wave because everyone's telling you this is what to do. Everything that goes up must come down. Bitcoin has had a big crash, according to a lot of people. But no one was saying that two, three weeks ago. Everyone's like $70,000, $140,000. It's going to go there. Maybe by the end of the year, we're going to see for South Africans, look at three to four and a half million that rent for a Bitcoin. But then just expect a big drop to happen also because this is the four-year cycle that, that we're in at the moment. So don't call it a scam because you bought into light, because you're uneducated. If you're busy dealing, if you become a doctor or engineer or a dentist and you go onto YouTube and you try and find out on YouTube how to become, don't think you know, you're going to put a sign up and say, okay, guys, I'm ready and I'm an expert. 
because you're stupid. That that I, how many people have told me, oh, I, I, I YouTube my education. Yeah, you can uh, anybody that Google's their education is also going to get weak weak answers. So if you're not willing to pay for education to become a doctor, a dentist, engineer, and trading is the highest paid of all the all the different. I uh, mean, we we went we started teaching people how to trade six years ago, and then we realized that there's some more information. There's more information, and we started adding those as new courses in into into our curriculum. And more and more people uh, realize that they also don't have all the answers just by reading candlesticks on its own and um, moving averages and all of that. That doesn't make you educated. It takes time and experience. So um, I'm busy watching stuff from Ken Honda, the Zen millionaire. I watch stuff from um, Vishen Likani. It's, it's, there's, there's people in the world that know a lot more better on different levels than us. So don't learn from these people and pay some money to get this education. All right, so the next question that's coming come through is, I'm working my way through level two trading and I want to start trading by the end of, of next week. I have a Dell and Nova dual core laptop, which is like i 2 c basically. I want to buy an i5 laptop for trading. Well, that be sufficient speed for my trade trading purposes long term. Definitely. I'm recommending an i5 or i7 desktop, or if you have to a laptop. I don't think for most people, laptop, 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 you're gonna have to replace your laptop every two years or replace, get the a solid state hard drive. For, if you're serious about trading, you can't have to sit with an old laptop. If it says dual core, but there's no, no I anything there, then you're going to have a slow machine. It's probably full of viruses, and I'm not suggesting to. it's faster to trade on your cell phone, and it's frustrating. Um, he's asking to buy an i5 laptop. Yes, I definitely, i5 laptop is, if you, that's what you can afford, buy i5 laptop. <clears throat> if it doesn't have a solid state hard drive in, get a solid state. I would recommend not eight gig RAM, I would recommend 16 gig RAM for trading purposes, especially if you're trading on Binance or Bittrex or one of the faster um, moving exchanges. So I would highly recommend i5 or higher. So that's definitely recommended. Next question, I've been using um, all currency Android app for conversions uh, found it to be accurate and easy. So somebody's asking about um, where to find the prices of the rand to the dollar. The rand to the US dollar and the rand to the USDT as, as very as there's a difference between the two prices. So don't go and, and compare rand, czar to USD. Um, when you go to altcoin trade, you will see that the czar to USDT has about a 5% difference in price. In other words, you're paying 5% more for your USDT. So when you convert it the first time, that's that's how you that's how you're gonna stick. And as far as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are concerned, this is the same thing. You we are paying South Africans are paying five to seven percent more because guys are importing cryptocurrencies from overseas. We don't have enough miners in South Africa to keep the price low. So people are paying with their credit cards to buy cryptocurrencies overseas, then they get paid um, Forex exchange bank um, conversions to get it into, into Bitcoin or into USDT. So just remember the R fees that you're gonna pay on top of that. So you're gonna need a USDT to ZAR conversion, which you'll probably find on on Altcoin Trader, that's probably the most accurate way to go. Uh, somebody uh, said to me yesterday that I uh, hope I had a great day off. Okay, I must have thought yesterday was a great day off. Actually, I took today's off. I normally take a Saturday off and a Friday night. Otherwise, I'll work myself into a frenzy. Um, so it must have been hard to rest of the markets doing what they're doing. Yes. So what we do is we look at the market. If you're on the... On the um, 
on the monthly groups, we tell you what to expect for the month in advance, which are the trading days, which are the sacrifice days, and, and we have a whole picture of possible moon phase effects in the market. So there's no surprises for our traders. There won't be any surprises for you ever if, if you have that calendar in advance. It's a trader's calendar. And it's like, oh, what's this all about? You don't need to know what it's all about until you see it happen on the day. And you say, oh, okay, now I know what this is about. <laughs> so over the five, six years that we've been trading, we just, we just want to have education and, and possible uh, expectations of the seasons and the moon and all of that and how that affects the markets. I showed the guys the other night the US dollar to the rand and how the full moon and the new moon had an effect in the um, we actually saw that one of the biggest Bitcoin crashes on the first quarter moon the other day. And that, that was just amazing to see that it had a crash and a U-turn. So when you go and do plot, uh, plot your chart analysis afterwards, you can say, look there. <laughs> so that's exciting. So you see, I know you say I'm not a financial advisor. Yes, um, everybody remember, I'm not a financial advisor. We have to guide you through the process to prepare you in advance. Um, so he was asking if my train of thought is correct. I'm going to transfer 20,000 US dollars into US, um, I think it's USDC or one of the other USD markets. And he said he set this aside for kids and in investment and then spread it out among the low cost coins that I'm talking about a bit long term. Obviously watching them on a weekly basis, I'm thinking, am I thinking in the right direction? I'll continue to trade with my $6,000 funds on a day-to-day -day basis. We'd love to know your thoughts. So, so this is not just one question. There are few questions within the question. So one of the questions, he wants to transfer US dollars to basically, uh fiat currency into us dollar um digital currency which is we call them stable coins so stable coins lose their value by let's say two percent per month let's say just generally speaking two percent per month so that gives you all month to decide what you're going to do with with your coins whereas bitcoin might go 50 percent 60 percent 10 percent and and your volatility factor is, is a different uh, thing. For South Africans, US dollar is probably at its weakest at the moment, and it's the best time to buy US dollar. So I'm thinking to tell the guys, well, US dollar is your best hedge. I've actually for the last two weeks, and I said, guys, looks like we're gonna see a big crash in Bitcoin. I don't know when it's gonna happen because the cycles and seasons are unbalanced at the moment. But to have US dollar, meant that while the Bitcoin price was falling, if you had US dollars, you're actually increasing your Bitcoin balance. Increasing, increasing, increasing. So in other words, you're buying more Bitcoin should you buy Bitcoin at the moment. And Bitcoin can drop another five or $10,000. Don't, don't even think for one moment that it can't go there. So he said, should I spread it among the low cost coins and us, my answer is yes, but also but be at least on the signals groups to know when to, to get out because we have um, three weeks of possible bull runs on penny stocks and altcoins. When I say altcoins, I'm not talking about $10, $100, $50 altcoins. Anybody that buys uh, 500 or 100 or $10,000 coins now, obviously, you know, look at those graphs and you see that they, they're way too high. We want to buy these very low cost coins that are so low that, you know, there's only one direction that can go and spread it out amongst them. All right. So um, long term, I don't see anything long term. At this point of time, we have the penny stock coins that should give us some good profits between now and June 21 on the solstice. And then we would see less than 10%, I think, depending on what the Bitcoin price does, give us profits. And that 10% we want to work with into, into July. 
And then between July and September, when all the Ponzi schemes start opening and, and start losing the people money because Ponzi schemes normally crash, uh, start crashing in December, uh, in, in September, and then by November, they, they gone. So don't fall for any Ponzi schemes in the meantime. So um, for the, if, if my advice is get, get into the coins that we've given you to, to look at trading, the ones that are less than $1, because even though they've fallen 10 or 20 or 30%, we will use the US dollars to buy in the dips. So if you've got US dollars, we're gonna buy in the dips and don't buy ever at the current price. And well, that's one of the, the questions that we'll ask later on. So somebody said, is Bitcoin finished? Are there other coins we can trade now or soon? So Bitcoin, I said to the guys a few, a week or two ago, I said, what is the main function of Bitcoin? How does Bitcoin compare to, to other coins? And, and is its functionality better than other coins? Well, it's like talking about gold and silver. I mean, if you buy gold, you can't think that you can make gold out of it in the next year or two. You're going to look at the next two to five years to make money out of it because it's not such a, a, a it's not a, a trader's hedge. It's not somebody that, that wants to make a quick buck. It's um, where a silver has a volatility, much bigger volatility. And, and when gold goes up 50%, silver goes, goes up 200%. And that, those are the kind of trades we want to spend our, our time in because time and money, it, time is more important than money because you can't make one second of time back that you've lost. But you spend hours and hours trying to trade something that takes days and years to make money on. So I'm saying I'm, I don't focus on Bitcoin. If you are still in the financial system where you use rands, dollars, and euros, or pounds, whatever, you're going to focus on increasing your fiat currency as quickly as possible. Anyone that says hodl, 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 there's nothing hodl about Bitcoin. There's nothing worse than that the feeling that you're experiencing now as a result of this Bitcoin uh, drop. The huddle is, is something like somebody that's in a bad relationship and they can't get out of it. And it's costing them money in that relationship. Don't have a relationship with any material thing, with any coin, it's like biblical, guys. Next question, I made a beginner's mistake on Sunday. I impulsively did my first crypto trade. So you see impulse, fear of missing out, F FOMA, I bought $500 of BTC, Supposingly that it would go up. Why, why, did, why do we always think that it would go up? In, in my training, so everybody that's done my training will remember that I've said 50%, whatever, if you're going to use 10% of your portfolio, you're going to take 5%, that's half of that, and buy at the current price and put your orders up, and the other half you're going to place your orders down. If you're only thinking it's going to go up, you'll, you'll just be like all the other traders that are losing money. Simple as that. You cannot buy at the current price and think it's just going to go up. You have to have lower buy orders. So he says, should I now keep this BTC as an investment because it will recover in the wrong, it will definitely recover in the long run. And enter new money to start scalp trading with the signals that definitely yes. So if Bitcoin fell, 40%. The other altcoins probably dropped 50, 60% in the same time. So what you're doing is all these coins dropped. So you use, you can't just sell your Bitcoin now. So you use your Bitcoin to buy the cheap altcoins. And when the cheap altcoins go up 50%, then you've made your money back again. So the, the psychology of trading is, is we're going to give you guys a risk management uh, webinar in the next week we are determined to to help people not to get taken away you come for education but you're sitting in the classes and you only take 50 percent of the information that which suits you and makes you feel good the rest of the time you're going to be caught up with all these jokers on on youtube and and telegram to try and coax you into buying the stuff and not stacking your orders down you need to find where's the lowest uh, place that this order can go. If you're not, if you're not listening to that, you're going to uh, 
have to, uh, and, and if you sell lower than what you bought for, that's the biggest mistake to make. So don't sell lower than what you bought for. We've warned the guys um, a few weeks ago, we were on uh, Scott Belson's uh, Loving Life channel. And I said, I've told the guys to get out of Binance and um, Bitcoin and Ethereum. He says, yes, I can see that, that the prices are dropping. So the traders are warned in advance. Don't be listening to anything that you get free on YouTube. It's, that's what you, what you pay for it is what it's worth. If you pay nothing for it, it's worth nothing. So um, should I take my loss and convert BTC to USD because BTC won't recover to 40, it will recover to 48,000. It will probably go to 120, 140, 160,000, but before the end of this year, and I then think it's gonna be, make a big drop. So one of the people asked about Google Authenticator when they log in on altcoin, trader keeps on jumping up on the screen please use this um, this link here write it down take a photo or screenshot use this link anytime this thing you know you can't log in this will, will automatically log you out and then it will get, help you you know have a successful lo login into the, the exchange so my traders i have you, you guys know i can sort all your problems out and try and Saturday or Sunday nights, but we sort normally our, all our traders' problems out because we got a, a back office, um, you know, relationship with these guys. So somebody asked me, is there a future for Bitcoin? Oh, there's definitely a future for Bitcoin, but the future doesn't depend on the price. It, it depends on is there a use case for Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin is the most expensive. Somebody still sent me a message. Oh, I want to send Bitcoin. How much I send it? And I said, well, I've posted on the group how expensive. Are you willing to pay 400 bucks for a transaction? South African rent. Well, you know, um, not really. But then why don't you use the information that you've given? Nobody, we are living in a, in a time of education. But education means that sometimes you need to save stuff and write stuff down so that it makes sense when you make a transaction, use Tron or BitTorrent or something that's a lot cheaper to send your, your currency to another exchange and then convert it, buy back Bitcoin or whatever currency. The, the miners and the exchanges are making big bucks out of your uneducation. People that are trading on this, a loony um, exchange, you guys, you, you don't realize how much fees you're paying. Go and check your, your fees on Looney. Um, and, and check what how you need to be placing your orders because otherwise you're just playing using too much. Let me go through the questions that were asked on, on the um, in the chat box and um, see if there's any other follow-up questions on this. So somebody said, I have questions, um, coins, example, XRP, I want to change to be USD, USD, please explain the procedure. Well, you will, you will go on to, on which exchange? Are you talking about um, Alcoin Trader or are you talking about um, Binance? If you're talking about Alcoin Trader, you'll just have to sell it back to RANDs and buy USDT. If you are, if you are using, Binance, you will just click on the on the little tab at the top of the screen where there's markets and go to um, to fiat markets and you will type in XRP and you'll see all the different exchange markets you can buy it back to. So that's that's pretty simple. All right, I spoke to IT people and they want me to uninstall TeamViewer on my PC when trading. Apparently, TeamViewer open port on your PC that can expose your PC from hacking even <clears throat> through firewalls, rather uninstall TeamViewer, uninstall when needed. Well, the, the idea for me is when I, if I'm using, if I'm using TeamViewer, it's because I'm, I'm needing to do something on my computer with, um, you know, remotely. And for somebody that's trading on Binance or on Alcoin Trader, you don't need 
to see your what's happening on your PC because that you can you can try it on your phone also and you try it much very easily on your on your cell phone as sitting and trying working remotely off your cell phone onto team viewer so there's no necessary to do that um, <clears throat> i can see that we can get in, get to record altcoin levels in the next month it looks it looks to me like altcoins just like bitcoin are going to into major consolidation phase hopefully not to crash are we in the phase that we need to trade in the general downward trend using volatility to make money all right so this time of the year you know everything has gone out of whack i was watching the bitcoin and i was watching the dow jones price go from december 2019 into january february march and when it hit march it was supposed to be going down to march because that's a normal cycle. And, and then all of a sudden there was a sharp drop. This year we saw a little drop in, in March on the on the equinox, and then, but it was so little, the price just kept on going up. And I said, this, this is unnatural. And this is just because a Federal Reserve Bank has been printing money and the US dollars have been pumping back into the market, into stock markets, and into crypto markets. So there had to be a correction. The, the price is way out of correction. Um, let me just share my screen. Don't see any other questions at the moment. So I'll be posting this on, on YouTube as soon as it's done so that we, um, our traders can, can get this information. Let me just uh, force share and Okay, let me just go um, share the markets. Let's share the Bitcoin price. We'll just go through the different um, view share. So <clears throat> we did this uh, price comparison. We had this one month chart when you, we saw the, the Bitcoin price sitting there right on top of the Bollinger Bands. Nobody looks at the Bollinger Bands. All these guys talking on YouTube, they never show you Bollinger Band, so they can't tell you when the price is going to fall. So guess what happens is we have this, um, you know, this doji in the air standing on the top of the wave there, and people are buying there outside the Bollinger Bands, which is the dumbest thing to do. And why not just buy something at the bottom? Why do you want to buy it at the top? Because your friends told you to buy at the top. It's just ridiculous but everyone will still follow their friends and the people they worship and, and those people aren't going to refund you now look at look at um, ethereum on the one month graph look there so that is slid right from there to there and we're going to see the i think well 1200 1700 dollars in <clears throat> let's just quickly do a, 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 a duplication of this and, and let me show you that Ethereum and Bitcoin are just going to do, Ethereum is just going to do what Bitcoin did. So that's a one month graph for, for Bitcoin. Look, see that that's Bitcoin, that's Ethereum. Does it look similar? Absolutely. Except that that one is a little bit lower. Look there. Okay. The next candlestick is that one there. The next candlestick is this one here. I will just wait for it. You can fall in love, you can have children with this, and you're going to have babies, and this is going to be a very expensive hospitalization. When there's blood on the streets, it's time to buy. People don't buy when it's at the top, buy when it's at the bottom. Warren Buffett said, I want to buy every dollar for 66 cents. Then I now bought it at the right price. So if you don't want to buy it at 30 or whatever percent lower, then you're just going to you know, have to pay the price. Right, so um, let's go. Why is it hiding my screen? Right, let's go do that. There we go. 
So there's, there's the Ethereum price. There's a Bitcoin price. So that's what Ethereum looks like now. See there? And that's what um, Bitcoin is, is done. And there's what Ethereum is going to do. See that red candlestick? Yeah, we might see $1,000 next month for um, Ethereum. So do not buy these coins that are too high. They're outside the Bollinger Bands. What you what you doing? No, man, I'm buying it because everyone's doing that. Stop being everyone. Why it keeps on doing this? Resume share. Yeah, resume share. Can you see my screen now? That's Ethereum. That's Bitcoin. No. That's Ethereum. That's Ethereum. That's Bitcoin. That's Bitcoin. That's Ethereum next month. Cannot carry on going up and up and up. So just keep that in mind. Don't waste your money on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Go to Altcoin Trader. Wait for the dip to happen. All of these high price coins. It's, it's going to be better for you to put money in and go in right now and buy silver and buy US dollar tether, USDT, and wait for the next message. Don't buy all of these coins that are so high, that are still dropping. A BTC has a better chance of buying in the next week or two, but we are gonna could be seeing a $20,000, a $16,000, 12000 I've heard even rumors that Bitcoin could need six to eight thousand dollars, and if it does that, it will do that for five minutes or five seconds, and then it will just bounce up again. The people are. We need to realistically look not at what everyone is doing. We are here to make money, not to fall in love. I was like, I remember at school, all the guys liked the same girl, but only one guy got married to the girl because he knew the the moves or got involved with the girl because he knew the moves. So I don't all fall in love with the same girl or the same guy. It's just like ridiculous. Like, see if there are any other, any other questions, guys? I think we've pretty much covered everything. If you, if you guys didn't ask a question, that's your, your fault, you, you're missing out. But we're gonna post what, um, this, we've been uh, buying into Loom, Loomis on, on our list for cryptos, updates, news. There were some nice profits we made. We were trading it around this region. So the guys have made, um, let's have a look at the price range. We started buying in around there. And of course, 18, 19% up, buying in the dips again, and then trading it up. So Luma has a nice, um, nice movement. So often people think that because Bitcoin is dropping, Ethereum is dropping, everything is dropping. It's because you're only focused on coin market cap stock tip. And you'll see that most people that ever talk about cryptocurrency only talk about these ones. Look at this graph, these graphs. It's only in um, US dollars that's gone up, obvious. <laughs> because these are stable coins, USD, USDC, USDT. The rest has gone down. And watch Sol. Sol is going to be a good one for, for the next um, few days. Uh, between now and the end of the month, you can make some nice bucks on this one. But don't buy at the current price, folks. Please listen. Buy at least 5 or 10% lower in, in increments. Don't just buy at the current price because you got FOMO. All right. Right, so um, also some of the guys have asked a question about I've had orders that have stacked higher and so on. Until you learn how to cope with that, until you've done all the, the course sessions, level one, level two, level three, level four, we have lots of strategies that we teach the people. But I can't tell you, okay, sell everything there and buy something now <clears throat> because you walk away from the screen and you're angry at me because that that you bought now went, went lower. You have to, I have to know your strategy. So I can't give you one strategy fits all. That doesn't work. 
everybody will say, I'm an investor. Okay, I'm an investor. Are you thinking two to five years from now? Are you talking two weeks from now? Are you talking two months from now? What is your strategy? And based on your strategy, it's easy then to work out something specifically for you. I can answer everyone and say, okay, guys, buy Bitcoin now, buy this, buy this. It wouldn't work for everybody because that's not that not everyone wants to think two weeks from now. Some of you want to make money tonight still. Some of you want to make money between tonight and tomorrow because you have a short-term strategy. You have to make as much money every day. Our scalp traders and our day traders don't care about tomorrow. They care about today because they want to make 5 or 10% or 20% today and they do it. <clears throat> but every time you make money for every three days you make money you're going to lose the money on the fourth day because you think that every day the price is going to go up and that's a mistake that all traders make and you might make you might lose 50 percent of your profits that you made in three days check the chinese calendar out you'll see all these sacrifice sacrifice days chinese are clever i mean they've got some they've got some you know, there's some balance and that's that's problem with traders, there's no balance. And, and for you traders that think that you are in long term and you're not placing orders gradually up, don't cry when the price drops suddenly and you haven't got any money that you've made profits to buy lower again, because now you've got to find new money to come into the market. All right, so hopefully that's that's helped you a bit. I think I've gone off on a tangent here, yeah, but uh, forgive me for that. I've been warning the guys for a long time and you know, um, I'll probably be chatting on a loving life again in the next few days or week. And I'm gonna share some of the stuff I shared with you. So you guys have an awesome evening and um, yeah, just, just hold in there. Either you, if you've got US dollars, great. Buy, buy in the dips and buy the signals in the dips. If you've got Bitcoin, also great, because you can use the Bitcoin to recover, to recover all your losses and make more Bitcoin. So to, buy, to have Bitcoin, waiting for the Bitcoin price to go up, you don't make more Bitcoin. When the Bitcoin price goes up, you make more dollars. So use Bitcoin to buy cryptocurrencies that are growing faster than Bitcoin to make more Bitcoin back. Hope that makes sense. Have a great evening, folks. We'll chat soon.